has signed a sponsorship deal with Arsenal worth some £30 million. How can that be right? Claire Akamatsi is the Chief Executive Officer of the Rwanda Development Board and she is on the line from Kigali now. Good morning to you. Good morning. How do you justify this? First of all, uh, let me clarify that uh, the amount of money we paid uh, Arsenal is less than the amount of money you, you, you just mentioned. How much is it? And, uh, I am under confidentiality not to share the amount, but it's uh, way below the amount of money you've said. But anyway, um, talk about. Uh, I wouldn't want to justify why Rwanda has made a choice to grow its tourism numbers. Let me explain to you the thinking behind our decision to... Um, to advertise a uh, visit Rwanda with Arsenal. First of all, Rwanda has a goal. Our goal is to not remain a poor country. In fact, Rwanda's per capita income has tripled over the last 15 years, from $200 to over $700. And the reason for the per capita income to increase the way it has in Rwanda is because Rwanda has made choices to, to strive for self-reliance and for economic development and not to perpetually look at itself as an aid recipient. So that's a very important objective that the British uh, must understand that Rwanda is working hard to win itself um, from aid, and the way we do that is by growing our sources of income from the country. Well, that may now, very well tourism. be the case, but, but, but a lot of people would argue, do argue, some people are appalled by this, that this is a very curious way of doing it. You say it isn't 30 million, but you won't tell us how much it is, and the fact is, no. it obviously is a very large amount of money, and it seems a very bizarre thing to do to boost no, the tourism... To, if I could just finish the question, to boost the tourism to Rwanda by, by putting adverts on shirts of Arsenal players. It seems positively eccentric. Let me, let me make two points. I think, um, one, it, it's, a, it's, it's a question of a mindset that you have or that we have here in Rwanda. We have a goal to double our tourism from $404 million to $800 million. How is that going to happen if we are not proactive about how we market ourselves to the world? Secondly, the money that we're using to advertise tourism so that it can grow is money that has been directly generated from tourism. Let me give you the statistics. Just for our gorillas in the country, we have so many product, products, but one of the most, um, most uh, famous products that we have is the gorillas, the mountain gorillas. We sell 96 gorilla permits a day. Indeed. Each, each gorilla permit costs $1,500. We sell 90% of our permits. That means we make more than $50 million a year. And, 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 and clearly nobody would with, argue what, that, that you have some wonderful tourist... If I could make this point, nobody would argue that you don't have some wonderful tourist attraction in Rwanda. The question is whether using a football club, Arsenal or any other football club, as a conduit for advertising uh, your country is not incredibly bizarre and perhaps is Why happening. Not? Why not? Because, Why not? Well, because the idea Arsenal, that people... Arsenal shots are viewed 35 million times every time they're playing. 35 million times. Well, that would be a good idea. But because fact, it's a... an awful lot of people would say the sort of people who are going to watch football club, I mean, not just the sort of people who watch football, but anybody watching a football match may, may notice the advert on the shirt, of course, but then looking at an advert on the shirt and then saying, oh, well, I'll go to Rwanda rather than, I don't know, go just somewhere where there's a nice beach and lots of bars and all the rest of it. I mean, it just seems highly eccentric. And what you seem to be trying to do... <laughs> not at all. I, I, think, I think you're the one who has a problem understanding that, first of all, we, when we make choices as a country, we think through what we do. We don't just make choices out of the blue. Our country has made progress over the last 15 or 20 years because we make good choices and we think about the choices that we make. Arsenal, Arsenal shots are viewed 35 million times every time they play. That's one point. Number two, Arsenal is one of the most popular football clubs in Africa. Arsenal is also very popular in the UK, and the UK is our second source of tourism numbers from in the world. And the we reason, get, and, and the reason and, that you are making some inroads into poverty is because you are getting a huge amount of aid from this country, from others. This, I think, is the second largest donor to uh, Rwanda, 60 million pounds, I think it was, more than 60 million last year. It's a huge amount well, of aid, I, and that is what is helping you to survive. And there's a great deal, as you will know, a huge amount of criticism of this particular deal. 
Well, I think that uh, aid has been very important for Rwanda's economic journey, but I think to call 17% of our budget as huge is a bit of a, um, a lack of appreciation that that has grown from 80% dependency on aid to 17%. The reason that we've been able to cut down the dependency on aid from about 80% 15 years ago to 17% today is precisely because we've grown our tourism among other sectors might it, that uh, might our economy. It, might it not be rather more effective in terms, terms of the face that Rwanda presents to the world if perhaps your regime was slightly less brutal if you didn't have a leader who indulged in torturing his opponents and that sort of thing. That would have a rather more positive effect, wouldn't it, on the picture that Rwanda presents to the world? Well, clearly, from the questions you have, you, you are one number very biased, I think. Well, I'm number quoting two, human, for instance, Human Rights Watch. Two, I, I don't think, know whether you I call think, Human Rights Watch I think, biased. I think you're or? either ill-informed. I think you're either ill-informed or ill-intentioned because Rwanda is ranked by the World Economic Forum as the ninth most efficient government in the world. I wasn't the talking about efficiency. Forum. I was talking it, about it, democracy, it, which is different, isn't it? it? It's a, no, if, if government is efficient and the governance is, is regarded efficient, it's because the leader of that country is driving the country in the right direction. Well, in that case, so, the United Nations itself must be prejudiced and biased, mustn't it? Because last year, its subcommittee on prevention of torture suspended its visit to Rwanda because of a series of obstructions imposed by the government. They won't even allow United Nations inspectors in to inspect whether you have torture practices or not. So, first of all, you, all the baseless accusations you're getting clearly are the ones that are even making you refuse to see that a tourism sponsorship for with Aston is a good thing for the country. I'm Our talking country about the face been, that you present to the world. I'm talking about the image of Rwanda. The image of Rwanda has been among the best in the world. We rank the second easiest place to do business in Africa. We are ranked the ninth safest country in the world. We are, we are ranked by almost every index as one of the best performing countries in the world. Except perhaps in terms of your democracy and your form of government. That's what I'm trying to suggest to you, but you seem not to want to address that question. No, not at all. We are, we are very well known as a country that has made progress on the governance front. Really? On the, of course, on the health front, on the access to electricity. You check any indicator and tell me which indicator Rwanda has, hasn't made one of the best progress in the country. The problem from when I hear you speak is that you, like some many others, are out there refuse to accept that a country like Rwanda can make choices for itself, can drive its direction, and can actually have an ambition to become independent. All right. And that is the problem you have and many others like you. All right, many thanks for talking to us.